Hey guys, Mike with SB Reflights, making a quick video of how to put the legs and brackets together to uh, suspend lights over a tank. We're uh, here at Waterworld in Pensacola, Florida today. You can see we've got our 32 inch S-Box Pro Timer up on a 48 inch tank there with the legs. And I'm actually gonna tank one of the Elite models, the ramping, and show you uh, how to put the legs together and get that suspended. And uh, in the next video, I'll show how to program the Elite as well. All right, to start with, let's go over the parts list real quick. You should have two of the large brackets. Should have four of the legs. One side of the leg should be longer than the other. One is roughly 10, 10 and a half inches. The other side is gonna be about 12 inches. The longer side should have three separate holes in it. Those are gonna be your mounting heights for four, eight, and 10 inches. And the other side will have just one, uh, excuse me, two holes, and that'll be for tightening it down to the actual unit itself. You've got four of these adjuster knobs. You've got the feet for the adjuster knobs. You've got the screws that hold the feet to the adjuster knobs. And then the small screws are to attach the brackets to the legs. And the longer screws are to tighten down the legs into the actual body channel up here. Now, the brackets and the mounting bolts with the feet and the screws do not need to be used unless you have a rimless tank where you're worried about the light bouncing around. Um, honestly, even on rimless tanks, I run without the adjusting knob. This is more than adequate and allows you to slide the light back and forth on the tank for maintenance. Uh, there's really no need, but if, if you just want to be extra secure, certainly you can use these to really tighten it up. So I'll show you how everything goes together now, okay? All right, so there's a trick to getting these put together for the, uh, the tightening adjustment rod. Um, first of all, the small screw is actually going to screw into the end like this, and that's going to hold the foot. The foot should be able to spin freely. Now, if you put this through first, you'll never be able to get your finger in there to try to get this on. So the trick is to go ahead and push that screw through the hole in the adjusting foot, slide that through the hole in the bracket, then you're going to take this, and you've got that threaded end, and you're going to thread it onto it, and it only needs to be finger tight. Remember, this isn't a moving part per se that you know is going to come loose while it's sitting on the tank. Once you've got it finger tight, then you're going to start threading it in. And it should go all the way into the bracket now. And now we can adjust this. And this spins. And again, we only need this when we're going up against a rimless tank where this gap might be too much and allow the light to move a little bit. But in my experience, even on a rimless tank, I don't use these. I think that's more than secure enough. It's just an extra precaution for customers that want that. All right, now I'm going to show you how to put the legs on. Now, again, if we look at the legs, this is the longer side. The shorter side has your height adjustments. Again, we're at um, 10 inches tops, then 8 inches, then 4 inches. And so what I do is take the longer side, slide it into the slot, and just kind of shimmy it to get it in. It should be a tight fit. And then I take the second leg, do the exact same thing. Again, making sure the long side is going in. All right, now once I've got both of these in, now I'm gonna take the mounting bracket and simply slide it over. And you gotta play with it a little bit because if the legs aren't perfectly straight, you won't let it go through. And then again, short screws. And so at this point, all I have to do is bring this up. Get it in place. Start the first screw, and I'm going for a max height on this particular one. And then tighten it up. And these don't have to be cranked down at all. Um, just go them in until they're just finger snug. And that's it. And we take the other one. on a bit of an angle. There we go. Just want to make sure you don't cross thread them. And again, about finger, finger snug. All right, so what we've done now is I've got the brackets on the bottom. The, the legs are still loose inside, 
and that'll allow you to pull them in and out to fit the tank. So I've put it on the tank, now I'm going to tighten it down. So if we get in a little closer, I'll show you. And so we want to even this distance here out on both sides so that we get good coverage on them. I'm, I'm pretty close, so I can kind of tighten it in a little bit, get it nice and squared off, even with the other side. And then on top, there's going to be some holes, and we're just going to put a screw in each one. Now, depending on how far out you have it, you may not be able to reach both sets of screws. But one is more than enough to hold it in place, because again, you're just keeping it from sliding out, that's all. As soon as I can get this started. There we go. And so this screw just goes down, and again, until it's snug. Don't over crank it. And at that point, the leg is secure. And then we do the bottom one, or the back one, I should say. And then once you're happy, you're good. Now, if I've got this a little bit uh, off center, all I have to do is loosen these two screws just a tiny bit, and then I can play with it and pull the legs in and out until I get it exactly where I want. And I'll just repeat on the other side. So again, that's it. We've now got it set up. And notice this is on a rimless tank. I didn't bother using the other control uh, or adjusting knobs. And it's fitting just fine. It's secure. The light's not going anywhere. Um, so again, no worries. If you want to put that other adjustment knob in right here, that's fine. Uh, but I think they're just kind of clunky, kind of big, and unless you're really worried about it, I, I just wouldn't bother. There's really no need. And this, of course, allows you to slide the light back and forth very easily when you're working on the tank, which is kind of nice. So again, that's it. Uh, Mike with SB Reef Lights, how to put on the mounting legs. This is the same for all the models, and I appreciate you watching.